Welcome to RPV City Talk. RPV City Talk is brought to you by the City of Rancho Palos Verdes to inform the community on recent city matters. RPV City Talk is a weekly show that features the RPV Mayor, City Council, or City Employees. Thanks so much for joining us on City Talk. I'm Maria Soreo, joined today by our City Manager, Carolyn Lair, and by Renee Cartwright, and you are the President of Los Serenos de Point Vicente. That's right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Maria, for having us. Great to have you here. Now, before we get started, I want Renee to talk about what Los Serenos de Point Vicente does because it's such an amazing organization. I think a lot of viewers get confused as to what you do, so tell us about it. Well, I think the organization is all about education. Okay. It's education no matter what venue you visit, and there are many in the city of Rancho mm -hmm. Palos Verdes. Right. We have the Point Fin City Interpretive Center, okay. and we have the Abalone Cove. Mm -hmm. We have Forestal, Ladera Linda, wow. and we have all the trails like Trump, Trump Trail. Mm -hmm. We have all the trails throughout the, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes that we explore. We give public hikes, and on those hikes, we educate the public. And this is all volunteer-based, the docent program, is that right? Exactly. And how are they trained? How does that work? Well, we have two classes a year, okay. and they're pretty extensive, and they're about four months long. Okay. And um, That is a long time. Yeah, and you learn so much, yeah. though. I mean, everybody comes out there, they just talk about the wealth of information that they, they uh, you know, Acquired. It's just amazing. Absolutely. Well, and you know, it's interesting because at Well the Day this year, we met so many of the docents, and you're right, they were telling us information <laughs> about things, and I just kept thinking, how long did they go through this program? Because they know so much. Oh, they do. They, they really do. do. We, yes, we'd all amazing. love to be a part of that program. I know. Come up. It is great. It, it really is. is. With, with, with more knowledge. And what I understand is that the number of docents that participate in the program, I think is the highest that it has ever been, and I understand the number is as high as 170 wow. docents, That's which true. is truly remarkable, and certainly mm -hmm. uh, I think it's credit to oh, Renee and, and the board, yes. who obviously has done such a terrific job of continuing to um, uh, enrich the programs, mm. foster uh, more volunteerism yes. within our community, mm -hmm. and make it such an exciting opportunity for the volunteers themselves. Yeah. And you know what's exciting is when you see young kids especially, or younger people, <laughs> that are so excited to talk about the information because they're not just doing it because they're pushed into it, they love it. That's true, yes. that's true. You're talking about the junior docents? The program? junior docents. Yeah, yes. that was started because they would come to us and say, we want to be a docent, so and, and we didn't have any programs for um, the high school mm -hmm. children and mm -hmm. things like that, and we just got so many requests, we said, we're going to do it, we're going to develop it, and I have to give credit to um, Don Icon, who okay. was past president, mm -hmm. who really took this program and went with it, wow. and it's, we are so proud of it. Absolutely. And it's very satisfying then to also see the young people yes. at the Interpretive Center mm -hmm. uh, also volunteering. Oh, and I'm yeah. sure that that is very helpful uh, in their meeting their requirements at school with the curriculum requirements for community volunteering. Yes. Absolutely. That's and true. well, the day this year, record attendance. We were all there, of course. <laughs> I just got word that <laughs> our attendance was a record high of approximately 3,500 members of the public. Amazing. And of course it was a gorgeous day. It really was. Beautiful. That yes. helps. But I also noticed that I think there were more displays, more uh, community groups oh, that uh, w um, had their displays, their table displays. Mm -hmm and uh, vendors that were there that That's always right. makes it exciting. Yes. Of course, those birds of prey yes. with, uh, yes. with, the, um, uh, with those kinds of displays is mm -hmm. also oh, fascinating. It's awesome, isn't it? Yes. And Carolyn, you have some exciting news about the city with the grants. So let's talk about that. Yes. Um, actually, just last month, the city council considered its annual, as, as lead into our budget, mm -hmm. annual budget, uh, the, the council considered its annual community grant requests. Okay. And we ask all of the groups that wish to ask for um, assistance, mm -hmm. 
financial assistance from the city to make their application. And this year, frankly, we got a, a record number of requests and at record number of amounts of, of dollars being requested. So we processed all of those applications, made sure that everybody met the um, basic requirements of right. being a nonprofit, nonpolitical, and, and those kinds of, of uh, requirements, and brought forward the information to the city council, who then considered their priorities. Mm -hmm. And one of those groups, of course, was Los Serenos. Uh, Los Serenos. Mm -hmm. And they had requested an amount of $7,000, which was a little bit higher, but that was also to account for this new program, the junior docents. Right. That's right. And so with that, as the council went through and considered the amounts that they felt that they could support, Los Serenos rose right to the top huh. of that list and was provided the full $7,000 uh, grant requests that they had made. So we were very pleased. Well, this organization is so amazing because you're working with the community from the younger people to the older people, whoever mm -hmm. wants to become involved. It's such a community organization. It is. It is. I just can't stress enough, you know, we just want to do things for the community. Yes. And this is one reason we started the sixth grade program. I want to talk about that with the schools. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. How does that work? How is that working? Well, it was a program that we really re reinstated. Okay. And what happens is that we take the sixth grade um, from the middle schools. Okay. And we take them to um, Ladera Linda, where there's a wealth of information mm. about geology. Absolutely. So we try to teach in, in, in concert with the requirements that the school district, uh, the curriculums that the school district. Um, requires. Okay. So, and the docents are very excited about it. The children are very excited about they it. It's just a win-win. Win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about um, the program, is it all of the schools or how does it work? It's all of the middle schools. Okay. There's three middle schools in Rancho Palos. I shouldn't say Rancho Palos, on the peninsula. Okay. And so the sixth graders go to this program. They attend this program. Okay. And uh, that's how it works. And we, we provide buses for them. Oh, wow. That's right. We pay for the buses and uh, the parking fees and things like that for them. And the docents are there to teach, and they are amazing. I just can't believe the docents. And, you know, Marie, I, I uh, am aware, we're all aware of the difficult times yes. that not only cities are going through financially, yeah. which is why we are all the more proud uh, that Rancho Palos Verdes was able to support our community groups yeah, because right. most cities cannot. That's exactly right. And do not. Uh, but in addition, we are also well aware of the financial strain that our own um, Palos Verdes Peninsula Unified School District is under. Exactly. Right. So it's something that I think uh, uh, these are ways that the city and that this organization, the docents, can help to augment Absolutely. Uh, the, the curriculum at the school. Mm -hmm. I know that the teachers must very much appreciate the program. Mm -hmm. um, I think so because um, before, before we got involved paying for it, the schools used to pay for it, the PTA um, paid for it. Okay. And that had to stop because of budget restrictions. And so we, we wanted to resume the programs. Mm -hmm. And can I just say that? Please. They were sitting around talking about the program. It, it was before my time, really, so I didn't know too much about it. But the empathy, mm -hmm. the empathy for the docents and the docents they miss the children. And, and I'll never forget them saying that. They miss the children. So.